Welcome to Matt Gourmet Kitchen. Today I'll be showing you guys how to prepare your mixed fruits for your Christmas cake. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe and also click that notification bell to get notified when I upload my videos. All my ingredients that I'll be using for this mixed fruits will be down in the description box so you guys can just go there and check it out. I just want to give a shout out to Yardy Kitchen. Our channel will be right on the screen here and also the link will be down in the description box so you guys can just go there, show her some love, subscribe to the channel. She has some good food contents that she's doing over there. So guys, just subscribe to our channel and show her the love and let you know that Matt Gourmet Kitchen send you guys. Stay tuned to the video. Javi Beats exclusive. Now here is all my ingredients that I'll be using to prepare my mixed fruits. I'll be using 400 grams of cherry, 400 grams of mixed peel, I'll be using 500 grams of currant, 500 grams of raisin, also I'll be using 200 grams of prune, you're gonna need to serve some red label and also some rain of your white rum. I'll be using 3 tablespoons of vanilla essence, you're gonna need a piece of dry orange peel i'll be using one teaspoon of mixed spice and i'll be using two teaspoon of cinnamon now guys i'm going to start out by cutting my cherries into two so it's more easier for me to do what i'm doing so i'm just going to cut them in half just like that also want to get a basin where you're going to put all your fruits in. Just guys, I'm going to finish cutting them into two. Let's add them straight into your basin that you're using. Just like that. You're also going to cut your prunes into two guys. Cut your dates and you cut them into two so it's much more easier to use to do what you're doing. Get right back to you guys when, my, when I'm finished cutting up all these cherries and my prune. Now here you have it. I've finished cut up my cherries and my prune into half. Yes, guys, that's how you want to do it. Look at that. You know the prunes are big, so you want to cut them into half, guys. My cherry. Now I'm just gonna go in with my mixed peel. Let's add that to it now, guys. Gonna get a big spoon and remove this cutting board. Now you're just gonna get a mixed spoon now. Just mix those around. After you finish mixing around that now, guys, you're just gonna run this underneath the pipe. Just rinse them off. Rinse off anything that's on it, just guys. You don't have to rinse it too long. I'll get right back to you guys when I'm finished mixing it up and rinsing them off. Here you have it guys, I've finished mix around my fruits and rinse it off under some cold water for about two times. Yes guys, now you just want to go ahead and get your medium sized pot like this where you're going to stew your fruits in. Yes guys, with about two cups of water into it, into your pot on a medium heat. You want to make sure your stove is on a medium heat guys. You're going to add your dry orange peel, it's already washed. It's dry, so you just want to add that to your water and leave this to come to a boil for about three to four minutes. You will see when the water change color. I'm just going to give my water some flavor, yes, guys, with that orange peel. So when you see it come to a boil and the water start to change color, it's turn orange. 
and you're going to add your mixed fruits to it. Yes, guys, I'll get right back to you when I'm doing that. Now, here you have it, guys. My water has come to a boil, as you can see. My water is also changed color because of the orange peel. That's what you want to do, guys. Now, you're just going to go ahead and add your fruits inside of there now. Like that, guys. Turn on your fire on a low heat, yes, guys. Can you remember you're gonna stew this now? You're gonna add some more water to it, get some water from your kettle, guys. Add to it, make sure the water cover the fruits. Not a aluminum one, it's not good to use an aluminum pot. Yes, guys, now you're just going to leave this for about two to two and a half hours on a low heat to stew, and I'll get right back to you. Now, checking back on my mixed fruits that I've been stewing for the two hours. Yes, guys, look at that, guys. Wow, it's looking beautiful and smelling so nice, guys. It's all stewed on, guys. That's what you want to prepare your mixed fruits. Yes guys, for your Christmas cake, that black Jamaican cake, yes guys. You can see when you do it like this, it's much more easier for you guys than you than you'd have to soak it for soak your fruits for about a year until next Christmas. It's much more easier this way guys. As you can see my fruits are all soft than that guys. So you want to stew them. It's easy to mash out. Yes guys. Smelling so nice. Now I'm just gonna turn this off now, guys. I'm just gonna leave it to cool for about 45 minutes to an hour before I start to add my red label and also my white rum into it, guys. I'm just gonna leave it to cool. You wanna make sure you do not stew your fruits in no alcohol because all of that alcohol just evaporate out of it. It's not good to stew your fruits in alcohol, guys. Just do it like when you see I'm doing it like how I do it. I'll get right back to you when this is all cool. Now here you have it. My fruits are all cooled down. Yes guys. Look at that. My fruits soak up all of that liquid that was in it when I was stewing it. Yes guys. Now it's time to add it to, to my jar where I'm going to be storing it in. Yes guys, you want to get yourself a jar like this or a container what you have. Where you're going to store it in you want to make sure it have a proper seal mine come with a clip on it guys so i can easily clip it down like that and keep all of that lovely aroma with the white room and the red label what i'm going to put in there yes guys now i'm just going to start to spoon this out into my jar so i'm going to do it guys just want to add it to your jar This is how you want to do your fruits, guys, when you're making your Christmas cake. Just like that, guys. That's how you want to do it. Some more. Yes, guys. It's easier this way, guys. 
to stew your fruits more than you're going to have to soak them for a year until the next Christmas time to make your Christmas cake guys Now I'm just going in with my white rum. Okay, just pour the white rum in. So down into the bottom of it. Okay, spoon. up seal it up now guys there you have it guys that's what you want to add your white rum into it and you leave this for a week or two before you start to use it make your Christmas cake guys you're just gonna leave it just like this to soak all of that rum and that red label that you just pour in there right back with you guys I'm just gonna Get the rest of my jar and start put the rest of my fruits inside of it. Yes, guys, and I'll get back to you. Now, here you have it, guys. I've finished shearing out my fruits into my jars. Now, that's how you want to prepare your fruits for your, for your Christmas cake, guys. Just want to steam them. It's much more easier than you have to soak your fruits for a year. You just go ahead and steam them like what you see I do, guys, with all those lovely spices that I put in there, especially the orange peel let's make it dry and add it into it guys let's give it a lovely flavor too with the red label and white rum with it yes guys just make sure you get a jar or a container a sealed one to keep in all of that aroma yes guys hit me up in the comment section and tell me what you think about this steel fruits for your christmas cake guys thanks for watching Matt Roman Kitchen don't forget to like share comment subscribe share it with a friend tell a friend to tell a friend yes guys until next time thanks for watching